Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how Arcadia Data's role-based access control provides security for visualizing your Hadoop data. Traditionally, business intelligence, or BI, systems create standalone extracts of data. However, this legacy approach creates major security risks with Hadoop. Using extracts can lead to redundant and fragmented role definitions and policies because it forces you to define roles in multiple places. One set of roles is defined within your BI system, another one within Hadoop, and yet another for each of any intermediate data extracts. Arcadia's converged Hadoop native analytics platform leverages the native security within Hadoop using centrally defined policies. Arcadia doesn't need to move data out of Hadoop because it uses Hadoop defined roles. That's more error proof and it cuts your security risk. As a result, Arcadia Arcadia is always in sync with Hadoop policies. Remove a user from a group and Arcadia will revoke that user's access to that group's datasets. Arcadia's role-based access control aligns with the security models in Sentry and Cloudera by reading Apache Sentry role definitions and controlling access based on the privilege level of the roles. Let's take a look at how that works. Here's an example of Arcadia's Hadoop integration using Sentry via Cloudera Manager. Once you add Arcadia to Sentry's allowed connecting user list, it automatically picks up the same roles that are defined in Sentry. Now, let's log into the cluster via the Hue web interface to show the roles as defined in Sentry. And we'll see how we expand them in Arcadia to new roles, groups, and privileges. In this example, the cluster has two databases, Marketing and Security. You can see them both in the Hadoop web interface that is Hue. The Marketing database tracks campaigns, while the Security database compiles application event logs for security audits. You log into Hue as administrator, and you can grant roles and privileges. Now let's create two new roles and then assign groups for each of the new roles. Here, we're adding Security Group to the Security Analyst role and Marketing Group to the Marketing Analyst role. We're going to set both with all privileges. Now, let's see how these look in Arcadia's role-based access control interface, which many of you know as RBAC. We'll log into Arcadia as Admin and select the Manage Roles tab. Arcadia has automatically detected the Hadoop level roles and it mirrors them in its own security interface. The Members tab shows the same group memberships defined in Sentry, Marketing Group Assigned to Marketing Analyst role. In Arcadia, the Privileges model can be set at three different component levels. The System level controls site-level capabilities such as mapping, roles, and custom styling. The Connections component is defined for each data connection in the system. And then you change dataset privileges to manage access to datasets, visuals, and apps. The Marketing Analyst role gets access to the marketing campaign datasets. This role can view existing marketing visuals, create new data applications, and explore the marketing datasets. Now, let's configure a role in the second group, Security Analyst. The Security Analyst role is granted access to the Security Logs dataset and limited to view-only access for the corresponding visuals and data applications. With visual privileges now configured for each role, let's log in as a member of one group and then the other. This will show differences in privileges between Marketing Analyst versus Security Analyst and demonstrate the power of Arcadia RBAC in action. When you're logged in as Marketing Analyst 1, you can see only those visuals and apps built using the marketing datasets. Here we'll explore the apps and their underlying datasets to show that access is limited to those marketing datasets. Arcadia's data interface limits access, presenting only the marketing campaign's dataset. This role lets you do exploratory analysis, such as creating a new visual from the marketing dataset. Now, let's log out of Marketing Analyst 1 and switch to a different role, Security Analyst 1. You'll notice that the only visualizations you have access to are related to security and event logs. The same holds true for data sources. The only data set the Security Analyst 1 role sees is the security logs. So what you see is that Arcadia's UI is RBAC aware. 
it blocks Security Analyst 1's access to creating new visuals, visuals that Marketing Analyst 1 could access. Arcadia makes all menus and options visible or hidden based on the privileges that are granted to any specific role. So let's finish up with a quick recap. Arcadia's role-based access control uses a Hadoop converged architecture to first reduce security and compliance leaks by eliminating multiple definitions of your security policy. It leverages the Hadoop-centric policies defined with Apache Sentry to control the privileges that you have at the BI and visualization layer. And finally, it reduces the management and admin overhead that you would have if you had to maintain multiple security policy systems for multiple copies of the same data. Thanks for watching the video.